Hi, and welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Targeted Experience. So I just came back from outside, um, and then I had my phone in my pocket, took my phone out, I was listening to some music, took my phone out my pocket, and my flashlight was on, right? <laughs> and then as soon as, soon as I took my, flat, my, my phone out of my pocket, realized that they turned on my flashlight, I could hack into my phone, immediately I heard the police siren, all right? So they love to do that. They love to shine uh, either a flashlight. When you see them walk in the person walk in the street, they'll turn on their flashlight, or they will, um, you know, use their flash, right? And basically, you know, what they're saying, or try to send some little message about, you know, uh, raiding your house and putting the flashlight in your face. All this stuff has been, you know, again as a TI, I remember early on in my target, and they used to have uh, news fake news reporters in the uh it could be there could be real they had like the the the, ch the channel uh on the tv camera and they would shine the big bright light in your face numerous times okay like they would be situated like by the steps to go up when you exit out of the train you go up to the steps to go up onto the onto the street they would have uh people with news cameras and you walk by, they're flashing, they're shining that light on your face. So all this shit I already know. Okay, like I said, I'm not afraid. You want to come? See, I've been saying this for a long time. Just do it, right? Don't you don't don't wait till I'm sleeping like a bunch of cowards. I'm walking on the street every single day, every single night. You don't approach me. So you're gonna wait till I go to sleep? That's what it is. And and I'm supposed to be afraid. It seems to me that you know you guys are afraid more than I'm afraid. Okay, so, and again, I said I stay what I stated in the previous video because that's facts, and I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna actually do a video on this, where I am going to show TIs, right, that they've actually been cases where people have engaged in psychological uh, warfare, uh, tra psychological trauma-based programs against individuals, and those individuals have fought back physically. Okay, and you have every right to fight back physically when there are others who are engaging in gaslighting you, psychologically manipulating you. And people have actually been convicted of doing those things to other people. All right? So like I said, I the one thing they don't like about me as a TI is that the information that I know, that I continue to study, to research, I continue to learn. See, I'm not like these sheeps out there who just you tell them, you know, the Bible is the word of God. You don't need nothing else, and that's and that's what they, you know, that's what they, um, <laughs> you know, they uh, read, right? And that's, you know, what I'm saying, because that, that's that's what they've been told. Let me just fix that, right? So, and again, which is, they don't even understand their own way of thinking when they're conditioned with, with religion. They're highly religious, but they go to college, they learn history, you know, they know history. They're supposed to know history factual history but they will still tell you that the bible is a history book even though they know that it's not that indoctrination that belief system is so strong because it's from your it, it, you're indoctrinated from your child right so you know it, the, the the power of psychological manipulation it is a very powerful thing also when you have Religious cults, they engage in a religious organization, they engage in what is called thought reform program. Meaning that if you are a member and you're losing your faith and you go to their pastors, they will start to do things to try to, they will try to, they will do things to manipulate you, right? In order to you to regain your faith. For example, like they may uh, send somebody to give you money all of a sudden, right? They know you're behind on your bill, so they come, they'll send somebody to give you some money, and then they'll, they'll, they'll say, you know, God told me to give you this. Again, you're very unbiblical to tell you that God don't speak to, to people anymore. If you're a religious believer, go read your Bible. Right? What they say, they said, and what they say, God speaks to Jesus Christ. Meaning that if you follow Jesus' teaching, and I, I don't know why any of you would, because if you really understand uh, Jesus in this Bible, it's, 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 it's pro-elite. It's pro-the Roman state who was... Uh, you know, uh, uh, levying heavy taxes on its citizens, brutalizing its citizens, right? So this is a, you know, this Jesus preaching is a, in, the, in this Bible, is, it is a pacifist talking. Go and read actual 
Roman and uh, Judean history, right, or Hebrew history. Not not Jews. Jews, they weren't at the time that in the first century, they were no such people as Jews. Right? No one in that era called themselves Jewish. They called themselves Judeans, and their religion was Hebrew. Okay. Understand that. All right? Don't like I said. I I used to be a sheep, a Christian. Right? And when, until you understand where that where that religion comes from, you got to go back to the source. Okay? You have to go back to the source. Where did they get these things from? For you, to, for you to understand. And go read real history. For you to understand that they were not Jewish people. So when they see, you know, what they'll do is that they, they will um, uh, translate history books. And then they will put in those words in there. Okay? That's what they do. And you go back and you read, go back and read the original uh, Latin, uh, not, I shouldn't say Latin, but the Greek version of the Old Testament. The Greek version. Okay? And then, uh, when it's translated, make sure that it doesn't have any English name translation. But the actual translation of what it would be from Greek to English. Right? Not inserting new words. Okay? So, for example, they, they, they don't say God, they say Lord. Right? They don't say uh, uh, Joshua, because there were no Joshua. The, the, word, the letter J wasn't invented yet. So, this is what I'm talking about. You have to go back and go through the literal translation, the literal translation, not the make up translation in all the Bibles that we have today. Okay? So, again, um, like I said, I'm going to do a video. Uh, and I know they don't want me to do it because, again, those videos are very uh, on point. Right, where you, I'm actually showing you the actual sources, and they don't want that because again, belief is what they want to indo keep indoctrinating you with. So you can always believe instead of thinking, instead of knowing. Right, you're just going to be believing, and that will be to your detriment, to your children's detriment, and to the detriment of each other. Okay, talk to you guys in the next video.